Wow! Already! So much going on. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Emma, and this is my channel, Sing with Emma Today. What's up? Hey! Okay! We have this clean O and then K! Had this heat, this distortion that wasn't just like audio distortion on it. Com vocal compression. But it's not on for the whole phrase, it's on for part of the phrase. Again, playful, variety, contrast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I even I hate to pause this so much. Copyright uh, really dictates that, though. She utilizes her head voice so smoothly, so perfectly within that. And then back to some belting, some rock edge. It's all here, you guys. And what a cool, upbeat song this is. Lyrics, her voice, these great visuals. It's just the music. This is the total package of a great song. Think about how they built up tension during that bridge, the elements they used. I, I hear like three main things. First off is her voice, just like growing in intensity into that huge scream at the end, which is so cool. But the other two are really like fundamental building blocks of EDM and pop music production now in general. One of them is this snare drum roll, this you'll hear it right here. When Adu sings difficult songs tastefully, the songwriting and composing side also pushes the limits. And by imitating the songs, young children improve their singing techniques and sense of expression. I feel like it's having a lot of influence on the music industry. I think there are a lot more high school students who are good at singing. Even if I listen to covers of songs, the combination of Giga and Teddy Lloyd in terms of composition is truly unbeatable. Kay Weil, who wrote the lyrics, and Adu, who can sing the Divine Comedy, are both really amazing and awesome. Wow. It was perfect. Perfection. Oh my goodness. It was an amazing, it was fantastic how she's manipulating her voice. And I really love sound engineering, by the way. Her vocals, her knowledge, her foundation, and her manipulation of the voice, and beautiful flexibility now. She <laughs> Question for you. Have you ever heard a voice like that? I swear to you, I've heard thousands of voices. I've taught a lot of people. I've been in this business for a while. And from a technique point of view, it is incredibly difficult to do. <laughs> is actually not one of her highest belts. I've heard her sing much higher with a lot of confidence, but she put a lot of texture. She thinks this cringy. This is incredible. This is a fun show. Beautiful visuals. So much power. So much drive. I absolutely love it. Again, if you haven't watched it yet, go and watch it. It is on her channel, so go and check it out. I'm so jealous of the people in the audience who can listen to Adu's powerful singing voice at the Nippon Budokan. And it's amazing that people who couldn't make it to the concert can also see the footage. I don't understand why such talent hasn't come out into the world until now. It's overwhelming. Even when I got big with Aswawa, I was foolish to think that I was an idiot. One and only. This is an artist. When I went to the live this time, I thought that Adu Chan was amazing. Of course, in terms of singing and dancing. But I saw that everyone from children to adults, both men and women, came to see her. I was convinced that he was a person who could spread his wings around the world. And since I'm a hikikomori, I was content just watching videos of other artists' live shows. But before I knew it, Aduchan had joined a fan club and bought tickets. Ta. It gave me the courage to participate in the war. It has the power to move people's hearts. I've been watching videos of USJ's zombies and can't help but dance to them, and I really like their personality. One and only. 
It's amazing how much I want to go even though I don't show my face so I don't have anyone to come near me. To put it bluntly, it's really great because you can have just as much fun no matter where you sit. Thank you guys for watching. See you around.